I put it to one side until much later on when I heard Frank Zappa was uh, suffering from terminal prostate cancer. And I got a phone call from one of his ex-musicians saying, hey, Frank wants you to call him. And I said, really? I don't know, Frank. He said, well, this is his phone number. And, um, you know, he'd really like to speak to you. So I I wrote down the phone number. And, and on three different occasions, I dialed his phone number from, you know, some hotel room in the middle of America. and before it could pick up, I panicked and put the phone down because I don't know what you say to a dying man you've never met before. And I um, I just didn't have the guts to do it, which I deeply, deeply regret to this day that I didn't speak to Frank because I don't know what he wanted to say, but maybe he just wanted to say hi. You know, we never met and um, and now we never will. So it was a, a, a poignant moment that unfortunately I chickened out of and I deeply regret that. 